Welcome to the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship Series. It's the final day of a very unique event with a true team format. The 2012 Collegiate Bass Fishing Open, presented by Pepsi. We'll take you to Kentucky Lake, Paris, Tennessee, one of the most dynamic lakes in the country. Kentucky Lake is known for schools of fish this time of year. The sky's the limit here, and the right ledge at the right time could prove to be a game changer. Plus, the event will conclude the season-long run toward the prestigious ACA's School of the Year race. Who will get the bragging rights as the first winner ever of the School of the Year program? We'll find out. Welcome to Kentucky Lake, Paris, Tennessee. Over 130 collegiate anglers from throughout the country are getting ready for the final day of the 2012 Collegiate Bass Fishing Open, presented by Pepsi. Day one had very hot conditions with no wind and very little water movement, making it hard to find quality fish. But today is a different story. It's still hot, but a good breeze and stronger current could easily make the big ones bite. Well, we had a, a rough day yesterday. The trolling motor broke down, so we only did about 30 minutes of fishing yesterday. So game plan for today is to you know, do a full day of fishing and hopefully get six big ones. We're looking to get about 45 pounds and six fish. <laughs> Well, we're sitting in 20th place, just a couple pounds out of top 10 actually, so we're going to go out there and swing for the fences today and hopefully come in with a big bag and make a big move towards the top. Weather conditions are supposed to be slick today and hot. That could shut them down or it could turn them on, you know, because more heat, usually they feed more because they their metabolism, but it could be a really good day. we got to get something to catch us up a little bit. I think we're out of first by like six pounds, so it's doable on this lake, but we just got to find the right fish. My dad always told me where there's twos, there's threes, and where there's threes, there's fours, and where there's fours, there's fives. So uh, hopefully it works out. Mainly just catch them deep like we did yesterday, and maybe hit some, hit up some grass. We had eight pounds yesterday on jigs, and just try to do the same thing. We're sitting in third place. We're about two and three quarter pounds out, uh, but on this lake, that's one good bite. You know, it's uh, it, it, anything can happen today. They can stumble. We can we can go, or we can stumble. Who knows? Uh, it's just uh, play it out and see what happens. I think our biggest thing is going to be NC State's going to have to really stumble because I feel like we're going to catch it pretty good. It's going to be tough this morning for us. Um, we're going to throw a Carolina rig a little bit. Uh, if it's really slow, we're probably going to pick up a shake ahead and at least try and get that limit real early. Now, let's take a look at where all the teams stand at the end of day one. Coming off a Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship victory, the North Carolina State Bass Pack is proving they have the talent to compete. Paul Owens, Tyler Faggart, Ben Zawolski, and Kevin Beverly together set the pace for the 2012 Collegiate Bass Fishing Open presented by Pepsi by bringing in 22.2 pounds. Bethel University is less than a pound behind at 21.43 pounds. Anchored by strong sacks brought in by Cody Ross, Dewey Swims, Dylan McGee, and Tanner Ellis, they're certainly in position to make a move and take home a victory. The University of North Carolina Charlotte is in third, and if they get the first three pound bass in the boat this morning, they will be the new leaders. With a total of 19.66 pounds, they're only one good Kentucky Lake bass out of the lead. Even two angler teams still have a shot at taking home the title of Open Champions. Gregory Childers and Chris Ellis of Kennesaw State brought in 18.29 pounds with their two angler six fish limit, proving they figured out how to catch those elusive better fish. The University of Tennessee at Chattanooga rounds out the top five. Also only one good bite outside the lead with 17.1 pounds. With four teammates working together, it's certainly possible they too could put something together for a day two strategy that could really mix things up. As the lone two angler one boat team in the top five, Gregory Childers and Chris Ellis from Kennesaw State have their work cut out for them today. These two have to do the work of four competitors, but if they can get on the right bite, it shouldn't take too long to put six quality fish in the boat. And they're already off to a strong start and catching a lot of fish. Uh, just, there's a bunch of structure up there around that marker. And with the Carolina rig, you just feel it come out of the structure and they hit it, you know, it'll be like rock, rock, rock fish. Oh, good fish. 
five or six. We caught our limit up here, and uh, we only had one fish off the hole yesterday morning, so we decided to come up here first, because when we went back to that hole yesterday, we ended up calling all of our fish, so we figured to give it some time, uh, since the bite was better there in the evening. There you go. That a boy. Keep him down. It looked like he might keep. He looks like he will. He's another short, fat one. Oh yeah. There you go. Where's your limit? Good job. That's how we like for days to go. It's less fun when you get to the end of the day and you're still working on it. Like other teams in the top half of the field, Mitchell Ray and Nathan Woodruff of UNA are on the hunt for better bites to close out the season. They brought a 13.44 pound limit to the scales on day one, but this is Kentucky Lake, and they've got a lot of ground to make up. You're looking for a structure, you're looking for, a lot of these ledges have muscles on them, but if, it de <clears throat> depends on whether they're live muscles or they're dead. I mean, and also you have to graphy, you'll go a mile or two graphing these, graphing these ledges. Got it. To find your fish, and uh, so you gotta good. find your school of fish. Good fish. Oh, uh, dang. The Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship Series is brought to you by Pepsi. Live for now. Boat US, for the love of boating. Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. Castaway graphite rods. Powerpole, swift. Silent, secure.